always nice to score on your debut for a new club. Get to win with the lads right away. <laughs> Celebration was a ring a ring of roses, unfortunately. <laughs> Guy Butters made us do it and we were all so young we, uh, we were scared to say no. It's Murray again! And I couldn't have caught it any better to be honest. It rounded off my full debut very nicely. It made me feel a little bit at home. Beautifully turned in by Murray. We obviously went there as, as sort of the underdogs. Murray! Uh, gave us belief to go on and do what we, we did the following season. The overhead kick towards the far corner, it's in. in. Wonderful goal by Glenn Murray. I just be, remember the day being absolutely freezing, as you can tell from the snow. <laughs> Sorry, <threw> through snow. <laughs> There's a few snowballs there. Header from Murray, yes! he's done it again! Always nice to get a hat trick. Murray, little turn from him, onto his right foot. Yes. That's it, hat trick Murray! But to get four, the next one, that's. It's extra special. I think that's the only time I've ever done it, actually. And it was just one of those days where everything just seemed to, seemed to go in. And it's there! It's Glenn Murray again! It's nice to put four past any, any team. <laughs> it doesn't matter if throwing snowballs or not. Murray goes for goal from distance. What a strike! I don't very often hit them from outside the box, but that just felt right to collect us, please. Murray might get through here. Rounds the keeper. One touch. Surely he must score. Yes, he does! Glenn Murray in front of the seagull! Very good team. This it felt at the time pretty inevitable that it, that it, it would it would happen. Murray right footed into the back of the net, and Albion have made a great stride towards that promotion push to the championship. We went into a game with Dagenham, who were relegation candidates. Well, I don't think we expected a 4-3 at home, but listen, we, we we got the job done and we, we got promoted, and that's that's all we needed. It's that man, Glenn Murray, get the bubbly on ice. Another scuffy goal. <laughs> It was obviously celebration, but there was still the job to do because we, we were so far in front, we, we wanted to be champions. Bennett to take, into the near post. Header! Yes! Done it! I make my run to the front post, get a glance on it, and it's it's pretty much party time for the Brighton fans from then on in. This was it then, wasn't it? I mean, we'd done it, we'd done everything we'd set out to achieve and, and, and more. I always felt as though I left the club with unfinished business. Yeah, this is nice, real nice. Well, that's promising, and Murray was there! And it is the fairy tale return! Just to get back out there at the Amex for the first time as a home player, it was special. Glenn Murray! Back at the Amex, back with the Albion, and back in the goals. I remember going up to Stanmer House during the day and, and thinking what, what, what would be on that night, and I couldn't have dreamt that it went any better. And there it is, he has the hat trick, he has the match ball. Murray with a glancing head. I think Alex Neal had come out and he'd, he'd sort of uh, he'd, he'd said a few derogatory words to us in the uh, about us in the press, and that fired us even, up even more. And yeah, we dismantled them on the afternoon. McGovern's taken a risk and it's backfired. It's Murray. And to be honest, I nearly missed it from that angle. You can't really tell where it hit, it hit the foot of the post and just snuck it. Murray's <laughs> arriving as well. That, that's definitely my favourite one of the afternoon. And the third one was just it was a bit it was a bit lucky, but he, he put sort of the icing on the cake. It's Glenn Murray for a hat trick. Murray intervaled up back for Murray again. Murray drills it home. We had a good awareness and a good partnership. I mean, Sam. Pulls for Murray. What a finish from Glenn Murray's offside. Oh, what a goal that was. What a goal. I wasn't offside, was I? We'd been below par this game. We'd been poor. Final chance of the game. Swings it in. Six yard box. Murray has scored for the Seagulls. How, how it went in, I'll never know. It felt as though it took an eternity drop in. Glenn Murray runs the length of the pitch. I got swept away with the moment and, and, and wanted to celebrate with our fans. And unfortunately, they were down the other end of the pitch. <laughs> it's over. Albion have the win. I look back at that. It's quite a pivotal point in the season, actually. Emmett's got it. Over the top is Murray. He's onside. He's through one on one with the keeper. Glenn Murray scores. And it was actually a bad touch. My, my last touch before I finish it was it was a bad touch, and it and it gives me the angle to shut my body down. I, I open my body up and, and then I shut it down. I have to wait for the ball for a second, and the keeper goes for it. It just felt so important, and then the the scenes behind the goal were just just fantastic. I love you. Pull back to Murray. Albion's top scorer fires it past the Wigan keeper in front of that North Stand. I just never, never, ever thought once, once I, I walked out the door that it would ever come to this, really. I always believe that, that given the right service in the right team that I could score goals in the Premier League. A glancing header from Glenn Murray. If you've scored in sort of previous fixtures against the club, you have good memories. So when, when you go in there, you, you think, I always score here. <laughs> That's it. That's it. 3-0 straight down. Thankfully, uh, 
Joe Hart dives out the way on the evening because it wasn't great. <laughs> that evening we, we became a Premier League team in our own minds and, and we, we felt as though we, we, we should be here. That just makes an A for my, my, my daughter's first initial. That's what that's about, but the, as far as the hand one, that will remain a secret. Rose, he curls it in, back post. There's Murray with a header! 2-0 Albion! On a number of occasions last year, Pascal was, his delivery was so good that it made my job much, much easier. Murray! I don't know why, it just, that, that just felt natural. I've obviously got in front of Lindelof here and Solly's put the perfect ball in and it, it couldn't have worked any better. Bruno, Murray, it's there! The 100's been, it's been a long time coming. It's been a lot of years of work. 100 up for Glenn Murray! I think if you start dwelling on the past, then you forget about the future and it's about driving on and driving forward. And, and, and that is ultimately, one by one, is, is what's got me to the 100. And if you didn't think he was a legend before this moment, there's Absolutely no doubt now.